Netherlands, one of America's most trusted and influential allies, has just made a move that could rip the foundation of the global semiconductor industry to shreds. And here's the shocker. It's not backing down. One single calculated decision. That's all it took to throw America's meticulously crafted tech war into disarray. And the fallout? That's the part no one was prepared for. The Netherlands, caught between the overwhelming pressure from the United States and the undeniable pull of China, has made a choice that could reshape the future of semiconductor supply chains. ASML, the Dutch tech juggernaut that controls a staggering 90% of the global lithography market, was expected to comply fully with Washington's semiconductor export bans against China. Instead, in a dramatic turn, Reuters reports that ASML continues to ship deep ultraviolet DUV machines, absolutely essential for chip production, to Chinese firms, defying Washington's relentless demands. This isn't just a minor disruption. This is a full-scale rejection of Washington's playbook. It's an act of defiance, a decision that could upend the geopolitical balance of the tech world, a move that could send shockwaves through the global semiconductor industry and leave the U.S. scrambling for answers. And now the burning question on everyone's mind is, why? Is the Netherlands carving out its own destiny, finding its own path in a world that's rapidly splintering into competing factions? Or is this a dangerous game of high-stakes economic brinkmanship? a move so audacious that it could trigger a global confrontation. Former ASML CEO Peter Wenning had warned years ago that cutting China off completely would only serve to accelerate Beijing's efforts to develop its own self-sustaining semiconductor capabilities. He wasn't just speculating, he was issuing a warning. And now that warning is beginning to materialize. SMIC, China's semiconductor giant, has just reached a milestone that should have been impossible under current sanctions. The production of a 7 nanometer chip a breakthrough that the Wall Street Journal called a wake-up call for the West's dominance in technology. So where does this leave ASML now? If it continues to sell DUV machines to China, is it securing its future as the dominant player in the global semiconductor industry, or is it unknowingly driving itself into obsolescence? Forget oil, rare earth metals, or artificial intelligence. ASML's extreme ultraviolet, EUV machines, are the absolute crown jewel of the semiconductor war. These machines are not just a commodity, they are essential for producing the most advanced chips in the world. Each EUV machine is worth more than $380 million and is required to manufacture the chips that power everything from smartphones to the most cutting-edge military technology. Without these machines, China would be generations behind the US, Taiwan, and South Korea. This is why the Biden administration used every tool at its disposal, including the CHIPS Act to pressure the Dutch government to block ASML from selling EUV machines to China. The thinking was simple. Without access to these advanced lithography machines, China's semiconductor industry would be crippled. But as we're witnessing, things are not so simple. ASML continues to dominate the market for older but still critical DUV machines, which the US also wants blocked. Yet the Netherlands, with all the pressure mounting, is resisting. And why? Because the economic stakes are enormous. In 2023, China accounted for nearly 46% of ASML's total sales, contributing over $7 billion in revenue. Cutting off China could slice through ASML's financial lifeblood and hand over the monopoly to China-backed competitors. If ASML agrees to Washington's demands, it might be sealing its own fate, ensuring that it loses its edge in a fast-evolving global market. The Netherlands may find itself trapped between two superpowers, each pulling in opposite directions. At first glance, the Netherlands' decision to keep selling DUV machines to China might look like a blatant challenge to the U.S. But when you take a closer look, there's more going on here than meets the eye. This is not just about defiance or ideological opposition. This is about survival. Dutch officials aren't simply facing the usual diplomatic pressure from Washington and Beijing. They are engaged in a battle to maintain ASML's position as a global tech leader. The Dutch government has poured billions into ASML, heavily subsidizing the company's development and success. Allowing Washington to dictate its trade policy could reduce the Netherlands to nothing more than a pawn in the U.S.-China power struggle, handing over control of its future economic stability. But the danger doesn't end there. Behind the scenes, something far darker is unfolding. Retaliation. Beijing has already signaled that it could blacklist ASML if export restrictions are tightened any further. Nikkei Asia reports that China has been stockpiling ASML machines, rapidly ramping up its own domestic production of alternative lithography technologies and pouring a staggering $143 billion into its semiconductor sector. The Dutch government must now ask itself a critical question. If it caves to U.S. pressure today, will it still have a market for ASML in five years?
Washington's entire strategy hinges on one critical assumption. Without ASML, China cannot build cutting-edge chips. But that assumption is already being tested, and it's starting to fall apart. A recent report from the Semiconductor Industry Association revealed that China produced 70% more advanced chips in 2023 than the year before, even with U.S. sanctions in full swing. The Netherlands' refusal to fully comply with Washington's demands could actually accelerate China's effort to close the technological gap, something the U.S. had not anticipated. Intel, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, some of the biggest names in U.S. technology, are watching this situation closely. Restrictions on China haven't slowed demand. They've simply shifted supply chains to more adaptable players. Bloomberg reports that while the U.S. banned chip sales to Huawei, Chinese companies have found creative workarounds by using subsidiaries and third-party deals. If ASML continues to sell DUV machines to China, is Washington actually helping China accelerate its independence from Western tech? With each new wave of U.S. semiconductor restrictions on China, Beijing responds with increasingly bold investments in self-sufficiency. Huawei's Mate 60 Pro, which features a 7 nanometer processor, shocked the industry because it wasn't supposed to be possible under the current export restrictions. Yet here we are, with China proving that it can push forward in defiance of Western sanctions. Now China is preparing to scale up even more. In a dramatic development, China's state-backed semiconductor fund just poured another $45 billion into SMIC and Yangtze Memory Technologies, YMTC. Bert Vanderen, a leading Dutch semiconductor analyst, warns that the longer ASML continues to sell to China, the faster China's semiconductor industry will evolve. Is the Netherlands prioritizing short-term profits over preventing China from overtaking ASML's technological supremacy? This is about more than just trade policies. It's a geopolitical earthquake in the making. The European Union, historically a neutral economic power, has struggled to maintain unity on trade issues. The Netherlands' decision has only deepened the fractures within the EU. France and Germany have publicly backed Washington's position on restricting semiconductor sales to China. But behind closed doors, many European leaders are growing frustrated. Why? Because US companies like Intel and AMD still receive exemptions to continue business with Chinese firms. European policymakers are now asking themselves, if America is protecting its own economic interests, why should Europe blindly follow Washington's lead? Meanwhile, European chipmakers, including STM Microelectronics and Infineon, have been quietly lobbying against the full-scale bans. If the Netherlands' resistance to U.S. demands grows stronger, it could ignite a broader European rebellion against U.S. trade policy. And if that happens, it will no longer be about ASML alone. It will be about the future of the Western Economic Alliance. Is the EU on the verge of breaking ranks with the U.S. to pursue its own interests? China controls more than 77% of global battery production but its vulnerability lies in high-performance semiconductors, which are vital for electric vehicles. ASML holds the key to producing these advanced chips, particularly those used in the most sophisticated automotive applications. Washington imposed strict restrictions to block China from accessing this technology. Yet with ASML still shipping DUV machines, China's semiconductor industry is progressing at breakneck pace, potentially changing the global balance of power in the automotive and energy sectors. Bloomberg reports that China's EV market is now the world's fastest growing, with domestic EV sales projected to surpass 10 million units in 2024. If China successfully closes the semiconductor gap, it could not only dominate battery production but seize control of the entire EV supply chain, putting immense pressure on US giants like Tesla, Volkswagen and General Motors. Washington had expected full compliance from its allies, but ASML's refusal to stop shipments to China combined with Beijing's aggressive drive for technological self-sufficiency, is forcing the U.S. to confront the reality that its trade policy may not hold the global semiconductor landscape together. The U.S. Bureau of Industry and Security estimates that China's domestic semiconductor production grew by a staggering 38% in 2023, outpacing all predictions. SMIC, once dependent on foreign technology, has now crossed a critical threshold, the production of a 7 nanometer chip using DUV machines. This breakthrough was once considered impossible under the current export restrictions. ASML's decision to continue selling older generation machines has emboldened other countries, like South Korea and Japan, which now face domestic pressure to loosen chip export policies to avoid losing market share to Chinese alternatives. Nikkei Asia reports that South Korea's chip exports to China surged by 41% in early 2024, signaling that a global semiconductor realignment is already underway. Despite U.S. pressure, China remains ASML's second-largest market, 
accounting for 46% of total sales in 2023, valued at over $7 billion. Cutting China off would not only leave a gaping revenue hole, but could allow China to develop its own competitive lithography systems. If ASML complies with Washington's demands, analysts predict a 20% drop in its revenue over the next two years, leading to mass layoffs and investment cuts. The Dutch government, which views ASML as a strategic national asset, has hesitated to impose a full export ban without compensation. But if China succeeds in developing its own lithography industry, ASML could lose more than just revenue. It could lose its technological edge. The question now becomes, is ASML buying time with China, or is it setting itself up for long-term obsolescence? The semiconductor war is not isolated. It's part of a much broader economic standoff between China, the US, and the EU. Meanwhile, China has retaliated by imposing export restrictions on gallium and germanium, two crucial materials for chip production. The U.S. is preparing a $39 billion expansion under the CHIPS Act to counter China's growing influence, while the EU is rushing to implement its own $47 billion European CHIP Act. This escalating tit-for-tat suggests that the ASML dispute is no longer just about semiconductors. It's a battle for global economic dominance. If tensions continue to rise, we could witness the fragmentation of the semiconductor industry, with nationalized supply chains and Western firms forced to pick sides in a global economic cold war. Stay tuned. The future of technology, power, and global trade is on the line, and this fight is far from over.